We now have just more than 24 hours until the next Republican debate, which you can watch only on our sister network, Fox Business. This time around, there will be eight candidates on the stage at 9 p.m. Eastern. And one of those contenders who will be there tomorrow night is Dr. Ben Carson. Today, he's pushing back against mounting claims that he misrepresented parts of his biography. Carson slammed the reports as a media hit job, saying he knows the main reason behind the harsh spotlight. Because I'm a threat. To? Uh, to, the, to the progressive, the secular progressive movement in this country. I'm a very big threat because, you know, they can look at the polling data and they can see that, you know, I'm the candidate who's most likely to be able to beat Hillary Clinton. They see that. And not only is Dr. Carson blasting the media, he says they're actually helping him rake in campaign cash. Tweeting over the weekend this. We the people have made 10,000 donations each day this week, raising $3.5 million this week alone. Thank you, biased media. <laughs> Stacey Dash is yeah. nodding her head. Why? Because it's true. The more media, there is no such thing as bad press, and he's a very smart man. I mean, he's a man who does brain surgery, thousands of successful ones. So he knows how to turn something that is bad into something good. And also, he comes from a background that is disenfranchised, that is uninformed. And instead of taking advantage of that, of those people like the last president did, he's going to make sure they're informed so that they make an, an informed and secure choice. That's what he's going to make sure. Very interesting. You know what's also interesting, Judge? He really didn't have to turn the wheel that far with biased media because I think a lot of people want to believe that, you know what, somebody's pushing back against what might not be Well, true. the timing couldn't be better for him with respect to biased media after that uh, disaster of a CNBC debate when Ted uh, Cruz mm -hmm. and Chris Christie uh, called out uh, the, the questioners, particularly uh, Senator uh, Cruz, about why don't you ask us about something important. But to, to Stacey's point, $3.5 million a day, that's fantastic. Yeah. That's absolutely over the top yeah, type, for a period uh, of days, that's a lot of money. Numbers. And as for the West Point stuff, look, could he have used more precise language? Yes. What I suspect happened is General Westmoreland said, you are the exact type of candidate we'd like to have here, and you know it wouldn't cost you anything to come here, and you'd probably be admitted if you applied. That's probably what happened. Did he, did he record that artfully? No. And he's had several times to say that, Andrea, since then. It broke, actually, as we were on the air yeah. last week on Outnumbered. And your first words were, um, in, in your anticipation, was, well, let's hope this doesn't disturb the flow for conservatives who are backing him because they trust him so much. That's true. And according to the polls, they still trust him, although he has taken a bit of a toll. Um, he has dropped a little bit in the polls. Look, it's not good press. It's not. I mean, if this were a liberal... No one would care. Right. Joe Biden can say he's at the top of his class at Syracuse. No one cares. There's a story also on the Daily Caller about Hillary Clinton saying that she applied to the Marines and then later that her husband Bill said, oh, no, 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 wait, it was the Army. I oh. challenge an oppo researcher out there today <laughs> to maybe do a little bit. Well, not only, story, not only that, we don't even have the records on Obama. We have no records. His records are sealed. Why isn't anyone investigating that? I think there is well, a the double do standard, and, and that's tried. that's going to be tough for Dr. Ben Carson. But I think here, that he can Clarence, raise money. But the same thing happened primary. to Clarence Thomas, another black Republican. So let's maybe consider that as well. One of the things that you heard Dr. Carson say, though, is that he feels some in the liberal media, as he termed it, the biased media, will target him because he is the greatest threat or perhaps a big threat to Hillary Clinton. What are your thoughts about that? I don't think he's the greatest. Excuse me, by the way, I have a little laryngitis, as you could hear. Um, I don't think he's the greatest threat to Hillary Clinton. I think it's very positive. It's, it's, it's a good thing for him to say as a politician. Obviously, mm -hmm. that's how you set yourself up. You want to be the guy that's going to go up against the greatest threat to the Republican Party. Party. I do think, however, he's got an amazing life story, an amazing story. I don't care how you slice it. He came from Detroit. He came out of nowhere. He became a preeminent, if not the preeminent, brain surgeon, separated conjoined twins at a very young age. Some of these things at the margins. This he's is what the this, perfect this, example, this is, this example is, of someone picking themselves up by the bootstrap. But you're, you're and right. Making through hard work. You're right. Achieve, achieving. You're their right. Dreams. But here's so, but, but here's the but on this. Why tinker at the edges when you have such an amazing life story already? The Wall Street Journal came up with a few inconsistencies that he had. Why even go down that road? It's almost like Brian Williams. Somebody else said this last weekend. It's almost like Brian Williams 
embellishing certain aspects of his biography when he's got such an amazing biography already. Because That's what makes it distract. I mean, it's they like want Hillary to Clinton distract. saying she had to duck underneath exactly the right. fire of Bosnia. She lied about her grandparents right. being immigrants. Right. The difference is when you're a liberal, the media ignores that stuff. Yes. With Ben Carton, right. it's, uh, Carson is under scrutiny. And Julie, I agree with you. Why tinker with a story that's yeah. so fantastic to begin with? It'll help him with the base now, Harris. But yeah. in a general, if he moves forward, it will be a liability. Well, and it's a wake-up call, as we alluded to last week, for his team then to do that opposition research right. on him and to vet and to be prepared for whatever might be coming down the pike. And that would be for any candidate. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, we'll move on. By the way, you can watch the Republican debate tomorrow on the Fox Business Network. Our